Good evening and thanks for joining us for Queen 6 News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola and tonight the state attorney general launching a criminal investigation two days after the governor called on her to look into leaders at the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. Was there abuse of power? And our Joelle Jones has been digging deeper into this for days now. She joins us live with the very latest in this. Joelle? Well, we're about to play for you some recordings from that internal investigation in which you can hear agency executives admitting to setting aside and purchasing these rare and expensive bottles of bourbon. And this is really an accountability as well as an accessibility issue as these bottles not only retail for thousands of dollars, but they can be almost impossible for the general public to find. We went to several stores today that were supposed to carry it and only one had it in stock and they wouldn't even get it out of the case for us. Today, Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum announced the Oregon Department of Justice is launching a criminal investigation into potential ethics violations related to the purchase of rare and pricey liquor by staff at the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission and possibly others. Have you ever requested or directed Nikki Leslie to divert warehouse liquor for your personal use? Yes. This comes just two days after Governor Tina Kotek called on top OLCC staff to step down after an internal investigation found Executive Director Steve Marks and five other agency leaders set aside rare and expensive products for themselves. Is it your understanding that uh, Pappy's is in relatively high demand and low quantity? Yes. Pappy Van Winkle, a label stores tell us, is hard to find and can retail for thousands of dollars a bottle, was the primary brand diverted by staff. But beyond accountability concerns, we asked attorney Kevin Sally what ethic and legal implications might be revealed by the AG's investigation. Certainly there are governmental ethics rules that, that apply and, and uh, they, they apply to situations that are much less uh, obvious than this. And then when you get into actual criminal statutes, there's laws against uh, official misconduct, kind of mi misusing positions of public authority. And while Marks denies legal or ethical wrongdoing, when asked during that recorded interview if he received preferential treatment to acquire the bottles. Probably the answer to that is uh, yes. It is definitely different from the public. What's going to be the bigger issue in this case is just the, the the look and the appearance of this. When the people who are in charge of this are apparently, allegedly doing things that are just clearly outside the bounds, it weakens confidence in the system if that is not dealt with strongly. According to the OLCC, news regarding the request for Mark's resignation came before the investigation came to light. With the agency confirming to coin, Mark's has not yet submitted a letter of resignation. In response to the new criminal investigation, the OLCC states, quote, the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission will comply fully with the criminal investigation announced today by the Oregon Attorney General. While the OLCC did declined an opportunity to interview with us today. A spokesperson did tell COIN that this incident underlines the importance of having public accountability and they say the agency will need to work hard to regain the public's trust and adhere to the state's ethics laws. So with this criminal investigation now underway and the governor's civil investigation on pause, we will continue to follow this and bring you any updates as it develops. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, COIN 6 News.